Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Dr. Stone season 2 episode number 2. Alright, the previous episode was a fantastic start. It started with um, those um, space food, like building or like making of space food and for the reason that they can like use it as a portable um, like food kind of thing because obviously like food is needed for like infiltrating and like when there is like uh, a type of like when uh, there is like uh, involvement of staying in one place for quite a long while uh, stealth missions food is extremely important because obviously that will keep your morale up and that will also like uh, because also you have to like keep uh, like still and keep quiet for quite a while because they can't go guns blazing in because obviously they don't have the power for that so they'll have to do everything um, stealthily and food is extremely important for that so it's a good thing Senku like thought uh, in that direction as well and also we're probably going to start the like stealth invasion into Sukasa's um, like place and um, for that like they kind of like made their sonic bomb as well which is used for distraction and uh, in like episode 1 we ended at that so let's see what happens in this episode what more inventions Senku like thinks about and like what actually happens so yeah guys um, without further ado let's get started with episode number 2 season 2 of Dr. Toe alright I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay so here's the countdown 3 2 1 go Oh, this is um, Yuziria and Taiju. All right. There you go, the sonic bombs. Yeah. All right, and here's the opening. Okay, so I'm guessing Senku is also going to build this thing, whatever this is. And damn, like that is something from the appearance. <laughs> damn. One thing, like from the opening, like Yuzuria is looking a lot smaller. Like, like I don't know. All right, let's see. Hotline, all right. Yeah, excuse me. No, Magna. Yeah, exactly. Like such huge like sounds. Oh yeah, that's also another thing. Okay. Okay, that's kind of smart. <laughs> yeah. Oh damn. <laughs> She's a ninja. <laughs>
Hmm. Okay. Yeah, like. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, she's using the other side, other side of the blade. Damn, damn, that was an amazing landing. And from the opening, we know that she's a gymnast or an acrobat. Yeah. Gymnastics, yeah. Yeah. But Kohaku is also quite fast, like and flexible. Not as much as her, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Like her stamina is amazing. Oh, okay. But Okay, I doubt anyone from the village can do anything, like... Oh, Senku's here? Oh! What's she, what's she doing? What the... What is that, light bulb? Level 2 science surprise gadget. Oh, the flare! Okay. Oh! Oh, it acted as a flashbang. Okay. Okay, make us in cool. I doubt we can make it. Sea water. Melt that. Turn that. Magnesium. Okay. Whoa, that easy? Oh uh, yeah, me neither. Oh, um, oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, my God, thank you. Yeah, that and like they're like surrounding you, so. Wait, what? Oh yeah, he is extremely weak. Okay, now what? Oh, damn! Oh, okay. Yeah. A dexterity... Uh, what is that called? Dexterity, isn't it? D-E-X. Is maxed out, so... <laughs> and agility as well. Wait. Which she knows them? What? Uh, yeah. Oh, her hearing. Yeah. Like she was spying on them continuously. Oh my god, she's going to understand. Like this is a like b bait. Oh boy. Oh my god, she's making... She's putting one and one together. Okay, stop her! Oh no. You need to stop her now. Yeah, this will be a problem if she like... Yeah. 
even if yeah like even if she doesn't do that and just notifies Tukasa it will be all for naught mm. <laughs> oh level 3 uh, final weapon okay Wait, what is this? Some kind of infrared light or something? Okay, is this some kind of an infrared light or something that... Yeah, question. Oh, that one. But oh, oh, wait, what? When? Oh, okay. Oh, this is ultraviolet light. Okay, okay. Not infrared, ultraviolet. Okay. Purple light bulb. Okay. Okay, that was smart. All right. Yep. Um, how about no? No. Oh. Mm, that's why, like, Yeah. Well, like, like Sengku has science on his side, so. Wait, what? Oh, wait. Oh, are, are they going to, like, contact them? I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Like Senku is going to contact them now. Ha! <laughs> the classic telephone. Yeah, problem. Okay, so. Okay, so what to do now? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, and she doesn't know that that's a telephone. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, she, oh boy, and she, yeah, what's that noise, yeah, oh, 
Oh, damn! Wow. <laughs> um. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh no. Oh no, she can Is this part of the plan? Oh no. Oh, she's going back. Or Moving up. Oh! <laughs> Damn, Ken! Oh! Wow, amazing! Okay, that was good. Um, someone will save you, I'm guessing. I'm guessing Kohaku? Yeah, Kohaku. Oh! Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, they at least got Homura now, like... <laughs> Tied her up. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Like, thankfully it's all is good now. Okay, yeah, yeah, calm down. Oh, 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 wait, they're numbered. Oh, are they like numbering it as to like in what? Yeah, priority numbers when to revive them. Oh, 32 people. All right. <laughs> Zima. Um, they're living people. Um, that's not how Senku works, so... <laughs> yeah. Jima. <laughs> but... Wait. Wait a minute. Does Gen know that that person? Remove Moody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but Sukasa kind of. Mm. 
All right. Okay, so. Well, he doesn't like think. He always like like his action before words. <laughs> oh. No, Senku's. Senku's grave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So this is also like a rendezvous point for them. Oh, they're taking home route with them. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's pretty smart. <laughs> okay, I hope no one like sees them. Okay, calm down, Magma. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, and run. Run. <laughs> Sound effects. Um. Okay. Oh no. Uh. Oh my god, he he knows. Okay, but he doesn't didn't see them. Like they can still trick him. Oh, okay. Diligence and tenacity. Okay, here they are. Oh! <laughs> Damn! Nope. Hello, Moshi Moshi. Haha, <laughs> long time no see. Okay, well, <laughs> okay, well, they finally got into contact. Oh, this is the ending. Oh, damn, this is like the evolution of humans. Wow. Oh, it's like showing each and everything how like... Oh, damn, this is good. Like the way they like did it. And now the petrification will like break and
Dạ. Yeah. Ok. Wow, that was good. Okay, that's the end. All right, so um <clears throat> Okay, so in this episode um nothing much like uh like like only I think one invention was shown that is um the ultraviolet light, I think. Was there anything else? Like uh the whole um Oh, uh oh, the flare as well. Okay. Two things, the flare and uh the ultraviolet light. And uh, the powder that they used uh, was already something that Senku like kind of um, like discovered before. So like this is not something that they showed this episode. It was shown before. So in this episode, two inventions again: uh, <coughs> the flare and the ultraviolet light. And <coughs> so okay, this episode was more uh, like uh, like uh, like centered towards Homura and uh, how they they kind of like tricked her. So, excuse me. So <clears throat> that was a good diversion they did because obviously I was not expecting them to like, <clears throat> like use this like as they said that uh, information warfare. Like I knew that they were going to dive like di divert her attention, but like I did not like anticipate them like talking to each other, like uh, Senku and like again using like Morse code and as well. So. That was pretty smart for them, and obviously, like uh, Homura did not know like what they were actually uh, like carrying. So obviously, like uh, things would have been a lot different if she knew that like they were carrying a telephone, because she would have probably like <coughs> like took uh, she would have probably t taken everything more seriously and more um not seriously but like, more uh, carefully, because obviously she would know that they could like communicate between each other. Probably she would have like gone like stealthily and took them out like that would have been a problem But she did not know and she did not have any ways of knowing that they would be able to contact each other So she like just ran off and like in like hurry to just to catch them What the hell they are like transporting and when she saw that the thing that they were transporting was a communicator um, She kind of panicked like obviously like uh, bringing a telephone in this age would be a big disadvantage for Tsukasa so yeah and like she was kind of uh, uh, like she was kind of given the responsibility of like keeping an eye on them so obviously she had to like do his her best to stop them but unfortunately this is Senku and yeah his brain is big brain not big brain it's the biggest brain so <laughs> like <laughs> Um, yeah, like, <laughs> no chance. And obviously, like, uh, as Homura, like, Homura said one thing that uh, I doubt people in this age would be able to, like, mimic my, like, <clears throat> like, the gymnastics that I'm doing. That is correct. But she is wrong in one, like, a thing. Like, obviously, people won't be able to mimic her, like, those fancy moves. But there will definitely be people who are more or less on the same level of like agility as her for example Kohaku like uh, this is the old not old but like this is kind of like a prehistoric kind of like situation where they don't have any kind of like wheels they have no way of transporting things everything they have to do is through walking and running so obviously they will have a lot more like stamina and energy compared to Homura because obviously even though Homura did like her training was a gymnast like definitely she, like uh, like like in my opinion the times that she used her legs to do stuff is a lot less than Kohaku because there is no transportation in this world like Homura like uh, definitely to like uh, trans like to go from one place to another Homura and like everyone in the like, 21st century used cars or any kind of vehicle to do but in the same position, Kohaku had to like uh, do it on foot. Like she had to. She also like did, like did the whole thing of bringing the hot spring water for her sister and like uh, running up and down, up and down, carrying that huge thing. So obviously she is a lot stronger and she is a lot more um like her stamina is a lot more than Kohaku. 
so even if kohaku can like use like these fancy moves can like uh, move flexibly and like use these kind of things like dodging skills and everything in stamina i am sure that uh, like homura would have lost to kohaku but yeah senku kind of like like it did not like go that far like senku stopped her before that so yeah and another thing that i uh, kind of like noticed was umura kind of like <coughs> like said um yo yoga wasn't it yeah yoga's name two times so i'm guessing she is attracted towards him most probably or respects him some something like that so <coughs> yeah and Okay, what else? Um, all right, and again, kind of like tricked her as well, uh, like the whole like faking the thing, and she kind of like got caught in that trap as well. So, and oh, uh, yeah, okay, another thing. Like, let me just check this. Um, when they like, excuse me. When they reach the stone statues, like we see, like there are like um, numbered, and when Magma was trying to like break that statue, now Gen kind of stops him. Now before stopping him, we kind of see a flashback. Now, now here's the thing. Let me just check that portion again. Okay. <clears throat> okay uh here it is um just a sec like let me just check the stone statue first like this is the 35th stone statue uh the guy looks pretty buff and looks a lot like vegeta okay <laughs> and okay and let me see the guy who he saw in the flashback okay this guy okay this guy also kind of looks a lot similar to that guy the one who's petrified okay so does he know him personally i think so because obviously these two like the person in the flashback and uh the guy who like magma is trying to break the 35th one uh, like has a similar ha hairstyle but obviously like in the flashback we like he doesn't seem so buff but in the like <clears throat> in the petrification state he is like extremely buff but like uh, the face and the hairstyle is extremely similar so i'm guessing um like the flashback showed that he saw was something from his childhood or something like when they were younger and maybe when they grew up he got a lot more buffer and uh like now he's petrified and gen personally knew him most probably so like his like eyes kind of changed when magma was trying to like destroy it so he came and like stopped him so i'm guessing like uh, he knew that guy from like before uh, the petrified guy and also like they i think they what they said like they did like uh, okay yeah they uh, undid the petrification up to 32 so 33 34 and 35 so this guy will like soon be unpetrified so okay that's something we have to keep an eye out for because obviously like um i think gen knows him so maybe he will deflect to Senku's team? I don't know. Or maybe not. Who knows? <clears throat> okay. And um, another thing they did was extremely clever. That is the like uh, burying it, like burying the telephone deep uh, like underground where like the grave is. Now the thing that I was extremely impressed with was like when they said that people coming and talking in the like in front of a grave is something that is not uncommon now that is pretty smart i have to say like yeah obviously like uh, the thing when like they were talking uh, then like the guy who is extremely like who can hear stuff extremely well like if he is like somewhere near when they are like communicating obviously like he can hear and like uh, be like cautious as to what they're saying and then like go and listen in and everything will be like over but in this case like obviously like they did it in front of a grave so obviously even if like he hears someone talking and he would probably not go and check it out because he knows that like this is the place where like uh, he and Yuzuriha comes to like pay their respects 
and like uh, maybe he is like talking to the gravestone of Senku so he would probably not go and check it out so that's a pretty clever thing to do but now um, I'm a bit concerned as to like after like uh, the guy kind of heard the like noise from that place he might get like uh, suspicious of the whole situation so he might uh, keep a like a, a more like uh, thorough eye on it and like uh, be more um, attentive so I, I don't know whether this will work now but I don't know let's see let's see how this goes and um, <clears throat> okay and uh, we got to see Taiju and Yuzuriha after quite a while and uh, like season one we saw them last in the I think the fifth or sixth episode during that time and then we kind of saw them in a uh, like little bit uh, later on uh, when they were like showing uh, the gravestone and everything and they were they're like still not silhouettes but their backside was shown that was it so after a long time we got to see like Lizuiha and Taiju and Taiju is as <laughs> <laughs> always loud as ever but that's Taiju what else can you do <laughs> and mm, all right and um, yeah that was this episode and what else and um, oh yeah like okay that's it nothing else like much else to say about this and um <clears throat> okay so now the main thing is um that guy the arrow guy i don't know his name uh, he is going to be a problem now because obviously he kind of heard something and that was like in that like place and that was pretty loud when like magma was kind of bashing the rock oh god magma and uh like he heard the sound so I don't know if somehow Sukasa like he informs this to Sukasa. Sukasa as like he is extremely like cautious. He might go and find it out. But I don't know. Like I think the best thing they should do now is uh like change the location of the telephone. But obviously the like Taiji and Yuzuriha cannot do that because uh, the like thing that like they set up the whole telephone there. So like if they have to like ch like change the location they have to like dig it out then change the, like extend the like telephone line and uh, I don't know a lot of more stuff they have to do which I doubt uh, Yuzuriha and Taiju themselves would be able to do properly so and even if they like uh, relocate it like w where would they do it even because obviously like uh, the thing is like because it is in front of a grave they can use the strategy of communicating by and like disguising it as if like they are talking to the grave so in somewhere else that won't work so I don't know maybe they can like uh, like disguise the whole thing as some kind of animal or something like the guy uh, who like heard the sound uh, maybe he would probably like if they could convince him that yeah that was, that was some kind of an animal or something that he heard nothing like much who knows like I think that is like the best way to uh, like, counteract this situation otherwise like he will like, be extremely like cautious about this and if like by any chance Sukasa gets to know this oh my god he will come and like <laughs> I don't know like dig the whole place down to find whatever that is inside so yeah Mm. yeah and uh, the one thing that like Kuhaku was saying that killing um, I don't know like uh, like uh, up until now Dr. C Stone has been pretty um, what can I say uh, like has not like shown any kind of like killing or like like killing like that but, but obviously Sukasa kind of killed uh, like the stone statue by like breaking them but uh, like like that like you guys can understand like what I'm trying to say like uh, they have never sold like killing like that like just like slashing or like cutting the head off something like gory stuff like that has not shown and I doubt it is like this is a show like that 
so I doubt that Kohaku or like any one of them like will go down that road but um, I don't know about Sukasa and I don't think I, like this manga will go in that uh, manga no, anime will go in that direction because obviously like uh, Dr. Stone is a pretty I think uh, it's a shonen yeah it's a shonen so like shonen usually doesn't show this kind of stuff but some shonen is kind of dead but still yeah I, I doubt it like they will go down this way because obviously like this is a not not a show like that I will be extremely surprised if they really did something like that and yeah and as like Senku said that have you like killed someone before and Kohaku was like no or, or, like why the hell would I do that so yeah like if you go down that path uh, like it, it will be a big problem like she himself will carry that burden for the whole, her whole life and that is not something obviously no one wants that and obviously like magma is like like action before words so like he was just like I don't know what the hell she, he was trying to do but he doesn't think so yeah like you need someone to like keep him in line <laughs> all right so that's it guys and that was this um episode uh uh of like dr stone nothing much happened in this episode this was basically like them trying to stop homura and that was it so i'm guessing uh, from the next episode they're going to like <coughs> get into the more um like inner stuff like uh, the whole like infiltration of sukasa's uh, like em empire <laughs> and like them like uh, exchanging information oh and also i'm quite curious as to what they will do with homura like um obviously like she has to go back to like inform them or like uh like i don't know like go back and um make contact with them otherwise like sukasa like sukasa would get suspicious so i'm not sure like how frequent like she contacted uh, sukasa and like told him about whatever that was happening but I'm, I'm guessing like uh, like they have to convince Homura and like like bring them bring her to their side and uh, like use her as a spy as well otherwise I don't think I think uh, things will be difficult if like something like that does not happen because obviously Sukasa would become suspicious they will like come and maybe they would like start the invasion quicker so that's a problem so I'm not sure what they are planning to do with Homura um so let's see let's just see in the next or in the uh, upcoming episode we'll probably get that as well so yeah guys um thank you guys for watching this was dr stone uh season two episode number two so if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so and comment down below anything you want to say about this episode or anything in general i'll be sure to check them out all right guys so i'll be back with another dr stone episode next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day